swear by the Almighty God. Nairobi Governor Ivan Skidero's personal assistant John Osogo was hard pressed to explain the context in which he had sent several text messages to Justice Philip Tunoy's main accuser in the ongoing 200 million shillings bribe probe. The Sharad Rao led tribunal wanted to know the actual meaning of the messages sent to Geoffrey Kiplagat before the Supreme Court ruled on Kidero's election petition. The ruling is on Thursday. Yes. Please confirm. Please confirm our travel for Friday. That's not what the message says. No, that's what it, it says. Meant. That's please what it confirm. That's what it meant. I All sent right. the message. Okay. Are you asking Mr. Lelmet to confirm that the ruling is on Friday? I was asking him to confirm travel for Friday All to right. Eldoret. In this message or in a separate message? In this message. Okay. When you say to Memaliza Hio Maneno, what do you mean? I was looking for an exit. By this time, Lelmet had become a thorn in my side, like I said, and I was really looking for an exit. You were just looking to get him off your back. To get him off my back, yes. All right. So it is, it, it is something you said that really has no meaning. And true, it was said very true. just to get him off your off back. Off my back. All right. But what exactly did you mean by that? Which Maneno are we talking about? The land <laughs> issue. Remember, he had now brought in the issue of land. He wanted to sell some piece of land so that he could earn a commission. Osogo, who was forced at a number of times to retract his statements, told the tribunal that Kiplagat was introduced to him by businessman Mike Njeru as a networked journalist who could easily access anyone and any office. He refuted Kiplagat's claims as detailed in his sworn affidavit of using him as a link between the alleged agents of the governor and the judge. We had never talked about the Supreme Court uh, matter. You had never talked about the Supreme Court We had Court never matter. discussed it, never. So then when you say good morning, I understand ruling is on Friday. On Thursday. How would he know which ruling are you referring to? It was common sense. It was all over the newspapers, sir. The I Kidero case was all over the newspapers. I understand a ruling in the matter of whatever is on Thursday. Here is someone with whom you have never talked about the petition of the matter in the Supreme Court, and yet you're simply saying, I understand ruling is on Thursday. He was aware that there was, a, there, was a, there was a court case going on. He was very much aware of that. How would you know that? I think he mentioned it once or twice, in passing. Yes. And yet you say you never discussed it with him? We never discussed justice to know with Lelmet. No, I'm talking of the matter. In the matter. The we may have discussed the matter, in passing. And you just said that uh, you are not interested in this piece of land. Yes. So why did you give him hope that you could even travel to Eldred? I wanted to maintain a good relationship with this well-connected journalist. What did he? What details did he give you about this land? Did he tell you what size it was? What the ten acres. Price it was a ten acre, ten acre piece of land. Uh -huh. The um, reason for travel to Eldoret was to negotiate the price and to see the parcel of land. I see. He didn't give you any idea of what the price would have been. No, he didn't. We didn't go into those details. One more thing. Yes, madam. In your statement, you talk about having given his application to two ladies at your office. Yes, please. About the job. Yes, please. And there was no vacancy. Yes, please. Of what use would it be to give the ladies that application if you knew there is no vacancy? It's just a formality. Just we a receive formality. we receive job applications every other day. To this well connected journalist. There was no vacancy. Good. I'm Uthani Waweru for Capital TV.